Hey everyone. Every week I want to make a quick um, concertina journal of sorts as I'm teaching myself the concertina. A lot of the things I'm learning from is from this book, The Anglo Concertina Demystified, with a very goofy looking guy on the cover. But I've also just kind of used my own musical knowledge and theory to uh, figure a lot of stuff out on my own. So let me make a quick three minute log each week of uh, progress for my own sake and also for um, kicks and giggles, I guess. I'm going to spend the first few of these episodes um, going over like what I've learned so far, because I've been practicing this for about five, six months now. One of the first things I learned is that the right hand has all the higher notes for the most part with extremely few exceptions, and the left hand has all the lower notes for the most part with extremely few exceptions. I learned that the middle row on each side kind of goes through a sort of C scale, and that the closest row is the G scale, and that all the notes across the top rows are the weirdo notes that don't fit in any scales, but help you then do keys other than G and C. One of the first things that I did was I went through every single note, and I pushed it, and I pushed in the concertina, and I pulled out the concertina, and I took some paper, some of that um, paper with, with uh, uh, staffs already on it, and I wrote down every single note I could find on here. What I was shocked to find is there's tons of repeats. There's a note here that pulling out on the concertina is the same sound as pushing in on this note, which is also the same sound as pushing in on that note. And pulling out on that note is the same thing as pushing in on that note or pulling out on that note. So at first it boggled my britches because I was like, <clears throat> what the heck? There's already only so many notes. How come you're restricting me like this? Well, it turns out that it helps play different scales and different other wacky things and, and chords can now go in and, and stuff like that. So one of the first things I did was I practiced the scales a lot. And that was pretty easy after I tried it enough. I just had to go in on one, out on the same one, go to the next one. In on that, out on that, in on the next, out on the next. This is where it got weird. It stays out for the next note on the right hand and then in. So there we go. One of the first things I wanted to teach myself was a song from Sea of Thieves called Be Calmed. Um, I'm not convinced I found the right place on the concertina to start playing it. Um, I wasn't very familiar with my options at the time, but I found something that seemed to work and I, I figured it out by ear and this is what I figured out. <laughs> So far, so good. Well, that's my log so far. I've learned a lot since then, but I'm going to use these to catch up slowly and then and then start logging exactly what I'm learning and studying week by week. Thanks for tuning in.